The Supreme Court has thrown out a death sentence handed to a black man in Georgia because prosecutors improperly kept African Americans off the jury that convicted him of killing a white woman. The justices ruled 7 to 1 Monday in favor of death row inmate Timothy Tyrone Foster. The Supreme Court has said you have to give reasons other than race for those strikes. Uh, but that has turned out to be so easily defeated by prosecutors doing what happened in this case, which is just coming up with all sort of reasons uh, when in fact we all know the real reason was race. When the case was argued in November, the justices did little to hide their distaste for the tactics employed by prosecutors in North Georgia. Georgia courts had consistently rejected Foster's claims of discrimination, even after his lawyers obtained the prosecution's notes that revealed a focus on the black people in the jury pool. Well, the criminal justice system is a part of our society that's been least affected by uh, the civil rights movement. It's run almost completely by white people. 95% of all elected prosecutors are white. And so we have white people running a system uh, that deals largely and in some places almost exclusively with people of color. The ruling underscores the importance of rules the court laid out in a 1986 decision to prevent racial discrimination in the selection of juries. Well, it means that the court is going to take more seriously this striking of black people uh, by prosecutors to get all-white juries. In this case, they got an all-white jury and then urged the jury to, to give Tim Foster the death penalty to deter people in the projects. And the projects in Rome were 90 percent African American. Uh, this was just blatant race discrimination. The outcome probably will enable Foster to win a new trial 29 years after he was sentenced to death. Matthew Burgoyne, Associated Press.